What's going on guys, Logan Morrison here. Uh, just in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the first full day that I'm out here. You know, gorgeous day outside, about 80 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. You know, we've got the uh, got poolside, got a nice place to hang out, got a solid little breeze. You know, uh, I just want to walk through, you know, the power of thought. Um, you know, we just watched, Mike and I just watched a, uh, a Bob Proctor, probably about 12 and a half minute video on the 11 Forgotten Laws. You know, if you guys are struggling in the business, literally just YouTube, 11 Forgotten Laws, Bob Proctor's gonna pop up. You know, look at the law of thinking. You know, look at the law of increase. You know, look at the law of attraction. And you know, these 11 forgotten laws will literally just show you how to make the law of attraction the most powerful thing in your life. And if you don't believe in the law of attraction, you don't believe in the law of thought, honestly, you're not gonna succeed in this business. Call up any of the elites in the business. You know, whether it's Adam Winnig, you know, whether it's Harrison Bagney, whether it's Bryce Maydick, whether it's Pat Comer, you know, anybody in the business that's seen success will tell you that the law of attraction is the number one thing you need to focus on. The power of thought and the power of action is what you need to focus on to be successful in this business. Now that's all there is to it. Like I said, Mike and I just sat down and listened to it and the biggest thing that I've struggled with lately is you know, not tapping into my why. And so I was like, well, I'm thinking all these things, you know, I have all these affirmations, I'm reading my goals out loud, you know, I'm reading you know, the things that I wanna do in life, but there's no emotional tie behind it. There's no reason why I wanna do this. And Bob Proctor touched on that in his video log you know, he pretty much just said that without emotion, thought means nothing. You can think you want to be successful, you can think you want money, and you can think you want to help people, but at the end of the day, if there's no emotional tie behind that, it's not going to manifest into action. If you have no motivation to do something, you're not going to act upon that. You know, so I just kind of realized, it just kind of hit me, that, you know, before I do anything, before I make a video log, before, you know, I make a home event, before I do a home event, before I do a training session, before I call my downlines, I literally just need to sit there for probably about five, ten minutes and think about my why. Because I guarantee you, if you sit down and think about your why, you know, whether it's retiring your parents, you know, whether it's having time freedom, whether it's helping your siblings get through college, whatever your why is, if you think about that before you do anything, you will have the motivation to do anything you want to do. Whether it's in Vima, whether it's in sports, whether it's in school, you know, you'll be able to do anything you want to do. You know, that's that's it's as simple as that. You know, so Mike and I sat down, you know, we, we had a good little, you know, good little talking session and we realized that you know before we're throwing a home event today, I'm not gonna think I wanna throw a good home event. I'm not gonna think we're gonna have sign ups. You know, I'm gonna fucking know we're gonna have a ton of sign ups, you know, it's gonna be a baller ass home event, we're gonna get a ton of motivated kids just like us to the exact same things from now on. You know, because I have my emotion behind it. I'm retiring my dad in three years, and there's nothing going to stop me. You, know, you guys out there that are watching this know that tap, you need to tap into your why before you do these things. Because once you tap into your why, once you think why you want to do something, you're going to get it done, guys. And this is one team. This is one dream. All we're doing is we're creating a network to help people. So if you're wise to help people, if you're wise to retire your parents, think about that. Do that and make that happen. Because at the end of the day, the only person that's going to regret you not being successful in this is yourself. That's, that's all there is to it, guys. You know, I'm going to touch in probably after a home event today. We're throwing on a couple. I'm going to let you guys know how they went. You know, obviously you're going to know that they went great because I'm letting you know now that they're going to go great. Anyways, guys, I'll touch in about a couple hours. Peace.